We had a victory parade through the hive as the army cleansed the countryside of orc holdouts. The Shah gave a massive speech I didn't understand and whatnot. We stayed a bit to help rebuild the countryside as well as burn the massive piles of orc bodies. The Shah was literally darkened by the sheer amount of ash from the fires. Party Secundus would face at least a few years of winter from the ash blocking out the local star. But the Imperium was shipping supplies and the Hive could produce ration paste so the world wouldn't starve. By the time we were to leave, other Imperial forces had lifted the other nearby human worlds from their sieges. Now was the time to take the Orcs' worlds. It was a sight, seeing worlds face orbital bombing without concern for civvies. Some of the Orcs had the sense to dig in deep. Lehman personally led the charges on these bunkers, babysitting me the whole time. It was amazing watching him and his sons cut loose. Raza and his boys were loving it. After a world was cleansed, the army and wolves would clear space for a primitive bare-bones spaceport. A few settlers would be set up in small towns and a regiment left behind to deal with any feral orcs that popped up. Usually the regiment's CEO was made planetary governor. More colonists would be shipped in later. It was nice seeing some of the menial's faces when they were offered some land to settle. We were resupplying at a peacefully annexed feudal world when some of those dog-headed lizard fucks decided to raid the world. The Imperial fleet bitch slapped them back. The locals told us they raided every few decades for slaves and plunder. Ross was livid. We sent word to Terra, as I was meant to head back soon. However, this had to be dealt with first. I got front row seats to the xenocide of the Torellian civilization. After virus bombs cleared the surface, Astartes and armies alike hunted any remaining Torellian presence. On one frontier world of theirs, we found human slaves forced to work under the Xenos yoke. Once we had butchered their military garrison, we buried all the Torellian civilians alive. The freed human slaves were properly settled and integrated very willingly. I had gloves made from the Torellian noble's skin. They would make great conversation starters. Fuck! Metal. Absolutely. <laughs> Metal. Metal fuck. With the galaxy made a slightly better place, I parted ways with the Wolf King. I had to stay in the medical bay of the ship for a while, as Russ bear hugged me when we parted. I was to link up with Horus on the way back to Terra. Most of his legion would be led by his Mournival while he was away. While I was kicking ass with Russ, a few more Primarchs were found. Fulgrim, Ferris and Khan. They would be on their way to Terra soon, as their worlds were brought properly into the fold. Should be grand. Angron should be in good enough shape to join my guard before he can start his trials. It'll be great to see him again. I wonder what Mal and Emps have been up to. I still need to speak with Horus about speaking to Eldrad. Solomon has been silent for a while. Hope he and his legion are okay. We had a few stops before we linked up with Horus. At one stop, a planetary guard's daughter kept following me like a lost puppy. She was small. <laughs> <laughs> Barely eight standard years. Almost punched the planetary guard when he offered me her hand. Uh, no. What no. the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, cut that shit out, please. The governor was offended. I was offended. Legos dragged me out of the ballroom and back to the ship. That really shot my mood for the next few stops. On a more positive note, I got word from home. My dad is gone. Passed away from a heart attack when he learned the world's name was changed. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good. My eldest brother has revoked my disowning. I don't really care, but it's still nice. I reached the meeting point before Horace. He could be here at any point. Warp travel is a ranged estimate. The local system is pretty barren. One major void point and a few lifeless rocks. The port is at least busy and a main stopping point for the sector. I kid you not, they have a theme park. Razit says he's been here before and is refusing to leave out lodgings. More worrying is that a major faction leader here is personally asking to meet me over and over. She claims to be his wife. I don't need this drama. In other news, Angron sent me another letter. Just some minor updates on his progress. Nice to hear from him. It's nice to hear Angron's doing well. Yeah. He was a very sad character in 40k to be honest with you but it's it's nice that he's gotten like you know some, well look like, i don't want to speak too soon because you know finally that something it's, might it's, fuck it's up. gonna it's gonna end badly yeah. this you know 
I have been repeatedly harassed by Razit's lady friend. At least by her lackeys. I have yet to learn her name. Razit won't talk about the situation. I have decided to ignore it till Horace arrives. Then we will bail and forget this ever happened. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if she tries something, I have the army on my side. I have the power of God <laughs> and enemy, enemy on my side. side. <laughs> I really don't want to get involved. The bitch tried to block our food shipment. The army wanted to talk things out with her faction. I declared the action rebellion and said as such over Vox. The locals backed the fuck down and gave us our shipment. I have repeatedly told this bitch's agents if they want to talk to Razitz to file a request to the army. Not me. I swear to God. Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear by the Imperium I will have her shot and punch Razitz for forcing me to deal with this shit. 20 requests in 5 days? Thankfully Horus arrived. We bolted after his ships restocked. I agreed to never discuss this with Razitz, unless we were talking about avoiding the station. I spent some time with Horus. He kicked my ass at cards repeatedly. We did some game hunting on a pit stop. This one world had a reserve to hunt feral orcs. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> I, I actually, yeah, no, that's a really cool. At least they're getting paid by rich people to have their orc problem dealt with. Horace and I got a lot of kills in. Razitz is a little happier from it as well. I think the planetary governor was trying to get Horace to build a vacation home. Can't blame the guy for trying. We're close to Seoul now. We have stopped at a hive world. Horace was asked to meditate and dispute between two major hives. They have already had some fighting and both are threatening to resort to nukes. The cause is really fucking dumb. Each governor of the hives had an affair with the other's wife. I am not joking. If the Imperium loses a valuable hive world to this bullshit, I suggested Horus strip them off their offices and allow each hive to elect their replacements, as each hive elects their governors for life. He of course got them both to stand down with his bullshit Primarch charisma. In a week, he had them eating at a feast together as friends. Hi! I just want to get back to Terra at this point. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! <laughs> we were greeted back on Terra with another parade. I'm a lot more used to crowds by now. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> yeah. I had to speak to some propaganda personally. He asked me to talk about my time with Ross and Sons. I talked about Party Secundus and our purge of the dog face Fox core worlds. About the slaves we set free and showed off my gloves. I felt it went good. Big E greeted us and we got to chill for a few days before a welcoming feast. I visited Anne Gron at the medical bay for a bit. He's doing great. He's under constant watch by the docks and he's back in his wheelchair. But he's in much less pain. He should only get stronger now, and this can be all behind him. Horus and Emps have been discussing my possible meeting with Eldrad. Angron and Legos will be my protectors during my one-on-one -on -one with Eldrad. Horus and his few hundred marines, and Big E with his three hundred companions will act as backup if needed. We are to meet at a frontier world, out in the space sticks. On a world reclaimed from some minor Xenos colonists that were purged and replaced with proper human ones. The date has already been agreed on, and Horus has some of his marines guard the meeting spot to prevent any funny business. I still have no idea what I'll say to Eldrad. <laughs> Tell Eldrad you're the hacker known as 4chan. He'll be quaking in his little elvish bitties. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Angron is getting stronger fast. He will soon be cleared to spar with marines and custodies in limited bites. He is really eager to be at full strength. Gulliman has finished his trials. A bit later than expected, due to some politic issue on Terra needing his help. But now G-Man is being sent to lead his legions at last. He is being sent out with some Terran recruits to the 13th, 
I wished him good hunting. Ferris made it to Terra, though I've only seen him in passing. He doesn't seem interested in meeting me at all, but has been polite when we have passed each other. If he wants space, I will give it to him. Fulgrim and the Khan are still on their way. Horus went to take Angron's sightseeing in some of the Terran ruins that have yet to be reclaimed. Horus asked if I wanted to come, but they could use this as proper bonding time. I hope they have fun. Razit has his sunny dogs running crazy drills to prep with the coming meeting. He wants the men in top shape before dealing with those knife ears. Also, I finally asked about the farseer from the boarding. It was a meal, he thinks. Eldar are weird and Razit has had limited interactions with them. And the farseer is dead. Legos killed him first. Sweet, fucker had it coming. Big E informed me I would have to attend more functions. I've started my formal dance lessons and have been granted a tutor. I will be attending a ball before we leave to meet Eldrad. Angron came back alone. He and Horus find something and Horus stayed with a few marines to guard it. Emps and the custodians have gone out to retrieve it. What did you find? I asked Angron. An armory of Vulkite weapons. Thousands of them. Damn. From some of the pics he showed me, the armory was the size of a stadium filled with relic weapons. I'm totally going to ask for one. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I've been needing a main weapon. Angron tells me to focus on learning proper melee instead. I remind him, I am a fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah, like... He just laughs. I, like, I'm sorry to say, but a normal human using melee in 40k just doesn't work. Like, let's be serious. Like, you know, it's different if you're a moon or a guy mark. Give me the big he, shitty thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give me give me the boomstick. You know what I mean? Can I just get the boomstick, please? I asked for a sweet Vulkite gun. Emps shot that down for now. <laughs> what? Come on, just give him one. Just give him one. I have one set aside for me. But Angron asked Big E not to give it to me unless I learned to properly fight in hand-to-hand -hand knife fighting and at least one primary close and quarter melee weapon. That's just not... Let's be honest, he's a fucking nerd, as I he know. says. He wants the gun. Yeah, just give him the gun. Razit carries a sword, but it's mostly just part of his uniform. It's a saber. He can use it, but not well enough to teach. Mal is looking for a chitter for my melee training. The sunny dogs will teach me hand-to-hand -hand and knife fighting. This is gonna suck, but was unavoidable. The galaxy is a brutal place. Ferris did offer to make me a weapon after I decided on a type. That's nice of him. I'm happy for him. Hopefully was... he gets one, you know. <laughs> I was touched. He barely ever speaks to me, but is willing to craft me a weapon. He doesn't just do that for anyone. Fulgrim and the Khan's fleet got pulled into stopping a Xenos attack on a hive world they were passing by. The Imperial fleet wiped the Xeno ships out easily, but they deployed drop pods in a mass to the Agri world. The two Primarchs are purging the scum as we speak, but will be delayed. In other news, the Warhounds are sending a small group of Marines to serve their Primarch. The Legion is tied down on many fronts, but are sending 8 to 10 Marines. We don't know for sure how many. That is still far out, as they are on the fringes of the Imperial controlled space right now. Magnus has also been found by his sons. He was already packed when they find him, and he's on his way. Oh yeah, he's, he's like the psycho one, so of course he's going to know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, I'll go. I'll oh, go, they're <laughs> coming. Yeah, they're coming, don't worry, I'm all good. They're going to take a roundabout way to nab some known lost colonies on the way. The sunny dogs are kicking my ass. I knew some basic self-defense back in my past life, but solar ox don't fuck around. It's nothing fancy. Just brutal basics and getting me used to pain. The knife training is no better. The training knife is basically a short sword. Sometimes Razitz will throw a flashbang into the ring to test me. Fuck's sake. Little. <laughs> I got him back by throwing a duct tape air horn in his room at three. <laughs> <laughs> sure he kicked my ass, but it was worth it. I counted it as a win in my book. We just got word that the 8th Legion has found the Man of Iron STC and blown it to hell. Honestly, that's the best thing they could have done with it. The galaxy is a much safer place. The 8th took a beating, as the machine turned itself on in an attempt to defend itself. They're going to be licking their wounds for a bit, but most of what they lost was replaceable war gear. It could have been so much worse. Today I had a rest day. Emp's orders. I watched Angron and Legos spar a few times. It was fucking grand. When they were done, we went to eat. We sat in a garden slash park dome and watched some of the servant staff kids play some ball game. Angron cheered them on and made their day. We
We even posed for pictures afterwards, though Legos thought it was pointless. Miserable bollocks. Cold-hearted fuck. I know. <laughs> Ems has called me in for a meeting. It's like four in the morning, so I hope this is important. We caught the attempted sabotage of the third gene stocks. Well, shit. That has me up. Cultists again? Of sorts. He nods. Rather than affect the gene seed itself, they tried to slowly arrange protective shields into a subtle ritual circle. Damn, that is long term. I've ordered the gene smiths for that vault detained and interrogated. Without your knowledge, this would have slipped through. I'm just stunned we still tried it after the second legion stock was saved. The enemy will take whatever opening they can. Ain't that the truth? Razit got me back for the air horn. He did the classic bucket of ice water when I was showering. I got him with a surprise pie to the face during <laughs> what a meeting. The fuck is what this? is this? What is this subplot about? Hi, I'm Anon, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> you know what this feels like? This is like pure anime fucking filler episode. Yeah, it is. Subplot line. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me it's not. He sent a confession letter on my behalf to some noble widow that <laughs> now won't leave me alone. <laughs> this went on. His officers got sick of us both and tied us to a flagpole at the marching field. <laughs> Legos refused to untie us on the grounds we had acted retarded. Angron laughed his ass off and drew on our faces. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Some menial untied us a few hours later. Razit gave the dogs hell afterwards. I had a training accident. A dog broke my arm during a spar. Then I hurt my leg in the automatic door in the med bay. My leg's gonna heal fast, but my arm is still gonna be in a cast when we meet Eldrad. Fuck am I gonna look like an idiot. At least my nurse is cute. Too bad she's married. We are prepping for our outing. I got an Eldar to talk shop with. Not being completely dumb, I'm going to be armed to the teeth and have backup out of the wazoo. It has still been agreed that I will have Angron, Legos and a full platoon of sunny dogs and two sisters of silence with me during the meeting. Ah, that's a good idea, getting the sisters of silence. That was a good, that was a good thinking. Horus and Big E will be ready to supply a rescue if needed, as well as kick ass. Eldrad will be allowed nine guards. He will have who knows how many backups. I'm going to give him half of the soul stones up front and work out a dead drop for the other half once the meeting is over to try and ensure he doesn't try to fuck us over. The dead drop will have a termite charge to help with this. If the space elves try anything and our triggerman is ready. A bit much you say? No, it may not even be enough. I really don't trust Eldar. Emps decided I had suffered enough from my broken arm. He did some weird golden light trick and boom, arm healed. Had the gall to say the pain was part of my training. At least I have use of my arm back. I got another week of training in before we boarded the ships for a meeting with the knife ears. In other news, the tutor that Mal was going to bring in refused the job. The ball's on that one. Mal is looking elsewhere. Well boys, I've got some bad news for you. So... Well, it's good and bad. So we're almost up to speed with this story. However, you can tell the story is nowhere near actually finished. Yeah. But it's been a while since the guy's actually updated. This is the last thread he's done. And I think we've maybe got one more video out of this thread. And then there's no more that's been written. So if any of you guys know how, if there's even any way to get in contact with this fella, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> like, come on here. Um, pretty much impossible to get in contact with a guy that writes this. Um, so yeah, just a heads up. This will be w- the, this There'll part be one and then more video one more video after, after this. this, and then it's just I'll do it whenever we get a new part in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so just giving you guys a heads up. You know what I mean? Because I know you guys are really looking for it, and I know there's going to be tons of people being like, "Where's the next part, Nick Beardy? Well, you promised us we were going to have it once a week. Where's the next part? Yeah, Where's so the next part? This is like, just like, like a heads up. Yeah. Like, the next part, part is going to be the is, last part will be the for last until a while. He posts. Yeah, but so. we're going to be keeping an eye out for it. So. Don't worry. You know yeah. what I mean? Just don't worry about it. Enjoy. And if you see him posted anywhere as well, write in like whatever video that we yeah. post. Or someone get in contact with me. You know what I mean? Get on to like the Facebook Discord, or Facebook, Discord. whatever. You know what I mean? Just send it on in if the thread's live. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, look, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Eldrad pulls because you know he's going to pull something. Let us know what you think and we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>